Hi, my name is Derek. Thanks for watching this lesson today. What I want to show you is how to implement the Font Awesome icon font and CSS toolkit in your next design project. Icons are massively popular today. They've been popular for a long time now. And what I want to show you is how to use this toolkit to basically quickly and easily add all kinds of icons. Here's a quick list of all of them in one shot that you can use quickly and easily in your next design project. I'll show you how to download the font and install it on your computer. I'll show you how to get the cheat sheet and it's also included as a file download in this project so you can use that on your next project. And then I'll also give you a quick walkthrough on how to implement it in your next web design project. So let's dive in. First what you're going to do is open up your web browser and go ahead and find Font Awesome. The quickest and easy way to do that is just to Google it. So Font Awesome hit return and it should be the first one that comes up if not this is the link right here I'll make sure I'll give it to you in the screen share as well and then what you can do is click this big download button right in the middle and hit download when you get a chance check out the new font icons they're working on those are awesome too but for today's purposes we're just going to show you this font awesome library what it's going to do is it's going to download this zipped folder to your download stack if you're on a Mac or to wherever it goes on a PC we'll go ahead and unzip that and it by default will give you the CSS you need, the fonts, and the other support files as well. For right now, all I'm interested in in the font section is actually grabbing this .ttf file. So I'm on a Mac again, so I'm just going to double click on that and it's going to give me the option to install. I already have it installed, so it'll probably give me a conflicting error. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we've already got it installed in here. I'm going to go ahead and just X out of this for right now. And with Font Awesome installed, what I can do is use it now in anything that I'm working on. So for example, here's a Photoshop file. This is for a client of mine. It's based on the X WordPress theme. And down here we can see where I've implemented some of these icons. Another example is I've got this sheet for a different client and all I did was use them for these simple uh, bullet points right here, these little check marks. And then also if we wanted to, we could add the little phone icon in front of the phone number. So let me show you how I would do that. First what I would do is go ahead and jump back over here and you can just Google for the font awesome cheat sheet and you'll find this guy right here which has everything that is included in this font set. So for example, let's say that check mark I wanted to use. Actually, we'll use the phone number or the, the phone icon. So what I'm going to do on a Mac, I'm going to hit Command F, uh, Control F on a PC in Chrome. And right here we could type in phone and it's going to search through this entire document and it's going to find anywhere where it said phone. So we've got headphones here, but we also have these mobile phone icons, microphone icons. This is what I'm looking for. So here's where the, the, I don't know if you want to call it magic or whatever, but I can highlight this phone icon, hit Command C on a Mac, jump over to my Photoshop document right here in front of where I want to put it. I'm going to hit Command V to paste that shape, but you'll notice that it's getting this uh, box with an X through it, but that's because it's trying to show that glyph character, but Myriad Pro, which is the font that's currently set up here, doesn't know how to display that. So what I'm going to do is highlight that font like I've got it now. Go ahead and type in Font Awesome because I've already activated that font on my system. And then when I click on that, and I'll go ahead and enter on a Mac, uh, there's my telephone icon. And it's a font. It's not, uh, it's not a raster image. So when I zoom in, um, granted, this is a bad example because I'm in Photoshop, but in Illustrator, it would be pixel perfect. So I can also resize this. I'm going to hit Command Shift and the left caret key. It's the comma key on your keyboard or Command Shift and the period key to make it bigger or smaller. And uh, so I can go ahead and nudge that in exactly how I want it, get it how I want it. Highlight that, hit Command C, come down here and hit Command V to paste it. And now I've got two uh, icons here exactly how I want it. And I can scale this down to fit within my guides that I've got in this document. Same thing here with the check mark. I did the same thing. So for example, if I wanted to put a check mark in front of this, I can come back over here to my cheat sheet and type in check. And let's go ahead and hit the little down arrow to find the right check mark I'm looking for. And we can see we've got a few different options here. The specific one I'm looking for is this guy. So I'll highlight it, hit Command C, jump back over to Photoshop. 
Command V to paste it. And again, this is showing that it's in Myriad Pro and it doesn't know how to show it. So I'm gonna come up here and type in Font Awesome. Select that from my font and hit Return. And now I've got a check mark in front of that as well. Back over in my web design document that I was making for that other client, we can see we've got a few different uh, icons here. And I would approach this the same way. I'd basically find where I've got this set up in my, in my document, hit the letter T, click once, and then I usually just throw in a couple letters real quick just so I can see where it's at. I'll jump back over to my cheat sheet and I'll start typing in bullseye. Here I've got a couple different options. I want this target actually. Command C to copy, jump back over into Photoshop and I'll come back in here, double click, Command V to paste. And again, I gotta change this back to font awesome. Hit enter on my keyboard, Command T to transform this thing up. And uh, that's basically how I made these, where I put them into place there. So that's how you can use these icons within your print documents. Now, if you want to implement these within your web design projects, here's an example of this same website now that I've actually built it out and it's, uh, in, it's in development right now. So I'm using, uh, if you're curious, I'm using Revolution Slider to get this cool parallax effect. But if I scroll down, you can see that the layout has changed a little bit from the original intentions of my comp based on some client feedback, of course. But if, if you want to see how this is working, I'm using the X WordPress theme and inside of the editor I've got this icon right here and literally it just it's easy they've already got this built into the X theme so I could click this section here and change it to any icon I want uh, just by simply clicking on it so I'm gonna come back up here and type in BULL for bullseye click back on that to put it back where it was same thing over here this guy was just the um, if I hover it should show me the street view icon this one down here is the let's click on it once and hover the group icon so basically I can just scroll down here and and add it if I want to add another icon um, in this theme it's kind of out of the scope of this tutorial but real quick I'll just show you um, I can drag and drop an icon up here click once to select it and I've got a few more styles going on here but Basically, that's that's within the WordPress development, specifically the X theme, but a lot of themes in WordPress right now support icons. And if you want to do it custom from scratch, again, coming back into the Font Awesome library, you can see where they've got a lot of great uh, up here. Getting started, they've got a lot of great, um, what am I trying to say, examples to show you how to quickly implement this into your CSS to use their library. So it's a great system. Font Awesome is, is awesome. It's, it's an awesome way to quickly and easily implement icons into your next design project. Hopefully you learned a lot and be sure to check out the free download I gave you in the project folder. What that is, I suppose I should show that to you real quick. Uh, I've got this Font Awesome Vectors PDF which lists all of the icons. And what's cool about this is you can take this PDF file, let me grab it real quick, and you can open it up in, just basically drag and drop, open it up into Illustrator, or right click and open with Illustrator, and you can see all of these. And what it's gonna do, this uh, sheet that I've, I've given you, uh, it's got all of these icons as a vector outline. So these are all vector shapes, so you can zoom in as close as you want to and use these icons. You can quickly and easily change the colors and uh, do whatever you want with them. And this is something that was provided by the Font Awesome. I just downloaded the PDF and I'm giving it to you now. So just drag and drop into Illustrator and you have access to edit these however you want. All right, thanks for watching and good luck.